Oh, I have dudes. We're doing a little uh, science experiment today. There's a gas station over here that I discovered that sells 100 octane gas. So, uh, figured we would uh, do a test with the regular 91. Uh, do a zero to 60 and maybe a top speed and then put some uh, 100 octane in there and see if it uh, makes the bike faster Obviously, I can't like I can't dyno it so I can't get exact measurements can't get If it I actually gained horsepower or anything like that, but I got my brand new Insta360 X3 camera with me that I uh, got for my birthday this thing has GPS I, the GoPro is GPS too, but I've tried to use GPS on the GoPro and it just doesn't work. It always says it's like stuck at a certain mile per hour and uh, it doesn't work well. So hopefully the Hensa 360 works so we can actually get accurate measurements. It should be fun though. I can experiment with the new camera too and see the how it looks at this angle. You can see my dash, you can see through the windscreen. See how it looks in a wheelie and stuff too. <laughs> Gotta be careful today, it's pretty cold. I think it's like 40 right now. Uh, it was freezing this morning and there was some ice on the road. We're gonna come up here to this spot and do a couple poles. I think I'll do like three, three quick little zero to 60s across this bridge um, as like a base time with regular premium gas in here. Then we'll go to this gas station, put some 100 octane. Tight fit. There's some snow right there. Scary. Oh, the wind's catching me. <laughs> that was crazy. It's even colder over here, so I'm sure there'll be some sneaky ice in the shadows. Gotta be careful. think the best spot to do these poles at over here. There's lots of traffic right now. I might just do it on the straight part. Okay, so we'll do two going downhill, one going up. So we'll do like three zero to sixties total. Let me get a little bit further ahead because I know there's a car back there coming up. Okay, zero. <laughs> I was I uh, wasn't paying attention to uh, the time when I hit 60 I gotta stop skidding dude I'm gonna show the wires on this tire and there's cars wobble oh dude I got a new microphone too. I finally uh, finally went and purchased the road. No more purple panda. There's some snow coming off that car. It looked like they were throwing snowballs at me. Purple pandas are like 30 bucks and they're really good microphones, but they just go out really fast and start popping. The wind noise is really bad. And uh, I heard the road mic last way longer. It was about $90, but hopefully it sounds good. All right, zero to 60, number two. <laughs> zero. Okay, let me do that. <laughs> Pop the clutch a little too fast. I think those were both not very good launches, so let's do one more and hope that is good. 
I'm obviously when I edit you guys will be able to see the times but right now I'm not sure what the 0 to 60 is or the 0 to 100 is see no cars are coming that's good we'll do a uphill pull That one felt way better, I think. I stay much higher in the RPMs and let the clutch out slower. These 600s have such a such a crappy dead zone and low end. <laughs> kind of want to do some high speed poles too. We'll go to like. Like, second gear, 40 mile per hour, to 100. We'll do one more, like, 30, or three, three, third gear, 60 mile per hour pull, 200. now and fill her up. I hope this stop slight senses me. This gas station is just down there. Yes. Alright, here it is. It's the shell right here. Right? Yeah. So I can show you guys what our uh, regular fuel is here in California. Let's pull up here and show you guys. So we got gas and diesel. Diesel number two. We got 87, 89, 91. Um, right now 91 is 589 here. But we go over here to the self pump number nine pump it also has diesel number two but it also has 91 96 and 100 <laughs> and then if you can read that right there that says nine dollars and 99 cents a gallon for 100 octane this tank is almost empty the light hasn't came on yet but it's almost empty so it's probably like a little over three gallons we'll see all right, 100 octane. That sounded like a bike. Whew. All right, she's purring. She's purring. I had a, a little under half a tank, so I only spent like 20 bucks. So I think this is a four gallon tank. Let's put two gallons of 100 octane in there. So, uh, not the full amount. Maybe I'll have to make another video and uh, ride this thing around until it needs some fuel and just fill a whole tank up with that 100 octane. But for now, this is what we're gonna do. These guys are really nice, but I've noticed just on this ride, I let the clutch out and it's the, the lever sticking to my gloves because the stuff is just so grippy. It's just sticking to my fingers. some pep in her step. Oh, right there, the wind catches me. Gnarly. I need to work on my wheelies. All right, dudes. There's no traffic behind us, so hopefully we'll be able to do these poles pretty quick. I'm going to do the same thing as last time the same part of the road up here so i did one time uphill and then two times downhill just so we can get the correct same time 
as last time. All right, ready? So here's zero. That wasn't too shabby. Once again, it might be in my head that I think that was the fastest, fastest I went too. I hit 115. Like I said, maybe it's like the the placebo effect or whatever. Well, gee, dudes, we shall see. So far, she's handling normal. Throttle response and everything. All right, let's do this. Zero. <laughs> came up really easy man is this is this gas actually like giving me more power the other launches I did did not pull the front wheel up like that normally I have to kind of force the front wheel up on the 600 if I want a power wheelie oh the rear wheel spun a little bit oh windy yeah, I'm curious. I wonder, because it uh, lifted the front wheel up so easily, my time might be slower, or the time might be higher, making it slower, because the front wheel came up and I couldn't stay on the throttle as well. All right, one more. Here's the test, and then we'll do some pulls like we did last time also. Thank you, Jigster. I'm all good. What a nice guy. So what was it again? It was second gear 40 to 100, third gear 60 to 100, right? Was it 40? Was it 30? Well, shoot, we might have to just do both. All right. No one behind us, sick. So let's do second gear. Let's do 30 to 100 first, I guess. Oh, too fast. I think it was 40, but let's do it anyways. All right, second gear 40 to 100. And ready and go. Third gear, 60 to 100. Ready, and go. Well, very cool. You dudes know what's the, uh, what the, uh, what the ending of that was. I don't know what the word is. Uh, what the c conclusion of that was. What, if I actually was faster with 100 octane. I don't know. What's up, dudes? This is uh, many days later, because it's taking me a long time to edit this video. Um, my computer is just pooping the bed. Need to get some more RAM for that thing or something, or just get a whole new computer, because it sucks at editing. It's so, so, so slow. But uh, I was gonna type it all out, but I figured just talking about it is way faster and easier than uh, writing a whole book that you guys will have to read in the video. <laughs> much easier than making a slide but yeah dudes if you guys could understand the slides that I made I try to make I try to make it like a graph but I couldn't figure out how to put lines but anyways my ZX6R actually was a little bit faster on 100 octane which is still crazy to me I didn't think it would do any difference that's what a lot of people say and that's what I believed but I guess because it's such a high revving engine I'll have to pull over here and uh, I'll read you guys the times so and we'll talk about them written down here somewhere all right so zero to 60 on 91 octane regular premium 91 octane was 3.10 seconds 100 octane 
was 3.7 seconds. So 0.3 seconds faster on 100 octane, which isn't much, um, but it still is faster. The average from 0 to 100 on 91 octane was 6.8 seconds. Uh, with 100 octane, it was 6.26 seconds. Uh, that's because the 100 octane gave me so much power that uh, it power wheeled one of those launches. I had to get let off the throttle a little bit to bring the front wheel back down, which made my time slower, even though the 100 octane actually gave me more power. So that was pretty interesting. And then when I did the rolls, uh, normal 91, second gear, 40 to 100 was 4.19 seconds 100 octane 4.09 seconds so not that much faster again still 0.10 seconds faster so not that much more but it's still faster what i think was the craziest one is the third gear 60 to 100 a normal 91 3.18 seconds on 100 octane 2.22 seconds almost an entire second faster from 60 to 100 with 100 octane. That is pretty crazy. Obviously, this experiment isn't like, you know, super science -y with like super accurate. It's just me riding my bike, doing launches, and uh, using the timer on the editing software. So that's crazy. According to this experiment, putting 100 octane in my ZX6R made it slightly faster. Very slight. But doing that roll from 60 to 100, almost a second faster. I still don't think uh, it's worth the $10 a gallon <laughs> to put it in your motorcycle to make it faster. But I mean, if that's that's what you like to do, ride on freeways and do roll races, maybe 100 octane's worth it. Put some uh, put some racing fuel in there too, even some VP. I will definitely have to make another video though uh, where we do top speed and I fill the whole tank up with 100 octane when I was just halfway. I think that test would be more accurate. Even if I just use a speedometer and I don't use GPS, it's still gonna just display this, the, the same the same speed. Oh, I'm racing the dog, I'm racing the dog. <laughs> but yeah, dudes, very interesting. Hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Oh, my traction control is still on. Man, turn it off. Turn it off real quick, dudes. There we go. That's not good. Wait, my traction turned back on. What the heck? Really hope that is not because of the hundred doctor and I put in this thing. Well, I'm really glad I stopped that wheelie because, um, you know why. We're gonna go ahead and uh, turn the bike off up here and restart it. See if this light turns off. Come on, baby. I'm gonna turn it off for like 30 seconds or something. All right. Yeah, I think I just tweaked it out when I turned it off and back on that fast. Yep, we're okay. All right. Well, that's good. Don't think I'm going to be able to do the top speed today. However, I might have to save that for another video where we fill the whole tank up with 100 octane and uh, see the difference top speeds we can reach. All right, dudes. Well, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go home, edit this footage up. You guys will know uh, if this bike was actually faster. And um, I'll make a little, a little thing. Oh, my goodness. Look at it. You see that up there? Uh, Sheriff Deputy is speeding at the 25 mile power zone, sir. You're on 35. I should go pull him over, make a citizen's arrest. <laughs> I'm so 
So someone, someone uh, four by four over there. Be a sick jump. Ooh. Oof. Oh yeah, I forgot to swim still. Anyways, dudes, probably gonna end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully the audio and footage looks all cool. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Later.